All right, guys, we're down here talking with Rick Heffelfinger. Um, Rick, could you tell me what what made you choose this particular road here by BMV mm -hmm. uh, for your new location? Okay. Well, first of all, we come back to Ashton. That was kind of a given for us. My grandfather started in 1934 on West Main Street in Ashton in the retail meat business, and later moved, uh, shut his retail operation down and moved down to Drumsville. It used to be called Drumsville Packing Company, which was on 89, State Route 89. And then after that, he uh, went and opened a facility. We're located in Dromesville now. We've been there since 1963. Of course, it's at the, corner, at the corner of US Route 30 and Old Lincoln Way, which is County Road 38. So we wanted to expand our, our retail business uh, down there. We are basically a wholesaler. Our wholesaling business down there is about 95% of our business. What we do in Dromesville, we wanted to just further uh, pursue the retail business and uh, we just thought Ison was a no-brainer. And uh, after looking, looking at several different locations in Ison, uh, different outlots, different buildings to refurbish, uh, this lot come for sale. And I thought, you know, this is a great location. We're close to a couple of different grocery stores. Uh, we're kind of off the beaten path. It's easy. We have easy access to get here off of uh, 250, which is very, very busy. So that was this was very attractive for us. And we come in and we build a brand new building a new facility here that's conducive to what we're doing rather than to try to uh, we had several other locations picked out but we thought that uh, this was the best move for us really by good far. for you i mean this is one year that you've been at this location um how's business been how's how's things going it has more than exceeded our expectations i mean we knew that uh Aysen was uh kind of asking for a place to get fresh meat, which is locally processed, and that's what we do in Drums. We, you know, everything is harvested down there. We process every process everything there. Uh, all of our livestock is uh, Ohio based, and we use pretty much the same uh, farmers for our supply of our livestock every week. So we have a consistent supply, and we just thought that uh, uh, for us that uh, it was it was just kind of like a no-brainer. I mean, it was yeah. And talk about, uh, you, you do a lot of beef, a lot of, uh, what don't you do? Because you pretty much do everything, I think, except deer, right? Well, we're in Dromesville, of course, that's where everything is based. Everything we sell here, as far as fresh meat, beef, pork, lamb, and veal, all comes over from our facility in Drumsville. It's harvested and processed down there. Uh, we bring in quarters of beef up here. We bring in pork primals up here. We bring in lambs up here. We bring in veal calves up here and we process that here. Uh, our location in Drumsville, we do on the average of 150 head of cattle a week and, except, and between 450 and 500 hogs a week. And so uh, we have a supply, a never ending supply. You know, we will not run out of meat up here at this location because of what, you know, what Drumsville, that facility is capable of producing. All righty, we're speaking with Jeff Brewer. Jeff Brewer is the manager here at Huffinger Meat Market. Jeff, tell me a little bit about yourself. How long have you been cutting meat? Um, approximately 36 years now. That's uh, a lot of cutting. It, yeah, it's, it's, uh, I've, uh, put them in, you know, self-taught. Uh, my brother started me at Keener Meats in Jeromesville, um, several years ago and, uh, taught me how to use a knife and, uh, I took it from there and, um, I've come a long way, um, worked the kill floors, uh, butchering, moved into the retail markets and, uh, here I am to return to my grassroots. When, when somebody walks into the meat market here, Health Finger Meat Market, what do they see? I mean, you offer a lot of things. Um, what we like to have them see, and it happens every day of the week, is quality, freshness, um, the explanation of everything being local. Um, beef and pork, all the way down to poultry, is from Ohio, which would be Gerber's poultry. Um, we just don't settle for second best. Um, we carry nothing but choice or higher beef, uh, grain fed, proud of that. Uh, just most, most importantly, it's local, it's fresh, um, and these customers expect to be waited on and we're really good at waiting on people, knowledgeable, friendly staff. Um, and clean, I mean, yeah, the awesome. counters are just beautiful. It's awesome. Uh, we are pretty much still brand new as far as the building, the structure. Um, everything is just immaculately clean here um, and bratwurst uh, let's talk about bratwurst all right we could we can talk about bratwurst um, through the summer I I originally was told he wants 12 varieties okay well I put it online 
give me your ideas. What sounds good? And these people would text me or put on our Facebook page, hey, this sounds good, that sounds good. Before you know it, I've got over 20 varieties of bratwurst. Um, it's it's kind of hard to keep up with in the summertime. Uh, kind of slows down in the winter, or it was supposed to. But um, we have to, you know, call some of it seasonal because of other things that we do, like the uh, oven-ready um, meat loaves, the uh, ham loaves, the stuffed items, stuffed pork chops, marinated chicken, marinated pork. Uh, that all takes time, and we also have to make room in the case for the seasonal items. You know, in the summertime, I generally have 10, 12 varieties of fresh bratwurst and sausage in the case um, at all times, pretty much, even through the beginning of the week when it's nice out with the campgrounds around here. We're well known for the brought and the sausage business that we have. I mean, hey, I Jeff, I got to ask one thing. After you've been here for a year, yes, sir. what is one thing that you would like to see improve uh, uh, for Hufflefinger Meat Market? Um, visibility, um, awareness that we are back here, tucked in back in here. Um, we've been here a year now, uh, just celebrated on the 30th of uh, November. And there's still people in Ashland County, even right around this, right around the corporation, that have no idea we're right, even back is, in here. I've got great meat cutters up here. Between the two of them, they probably have 75 to 80 years experience cutting meat, not only at the retail level, but uh, some custom processing. And and the girls we have up front are very very friendly, and it's something that uh, we're we're very proud of the fact, and uh, we think that our people here are superior to what what anybody else has. I mean, we're, we're excited about these people we have here, really are.